Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a trash talk video. I have a whole lot of wax, a whole lot of candles, and a whole lot to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, we will start with the candles. I finished three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven 11 candles this month. I feel really accomplished. I got through a lot of goodies. And as you know, I don't clean my jars before I show them to you. I show them to you raw, clean, no matter if they're soot, wicks, anything like that. So that way you can truly see how the candle performed for me. So the first one I finished is a rose, water, and ivy mason jar single wick from bath and body works so these guys are the ones with the black lids the mason jars i always burn the single wicks in my bathroom this was nice obviously there's the sludge a tiny bit of soot in the rim here but nothing crazy i really like rose water and ivy i have really good luck with the single wicks as far as bath and body works go in my bathroom and yeah once one's finished i put a new one in there and then i just rotate through them so this is soft peach petals english ivy and lemon blossom it was really pretty i enjoyed that really nice summery um or springy rose scent i finished one of the newer packaging single wicks in strawberry pound cake there we go, strawberry pound cake. They have the silver lids, which do not stay on. This guy had a pretty good burn, and then towards the end, he was like, I'm just gonna swish up the jar, and I really didn't move it. Now, this is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I could not smell this in my bathroom, actually, which is surprising because I typically have great luck with strawberry pound cake, not with this one. I do love strawberry pound cake, though, so I will try... It again, but in the single wick, it did not perform great. This one, Fresh Cut Lilacs. This performed so well for me. Wow, this is like not focusing at all. Here we go, Fresh Cut Lilacs. And this is, doesn't have the scent notes. Oh, Lilac Bouquets, Dewy Greens, Soft Spring Air with Natural Essential Oils. I love Fresh Cut Lilacs. I actually have the wallflower going in my entryway now. The burn's pretty good. A little bit sooty, but nothing crazy. It was strong from beginning to end. This lasted about five days in my bathroom. I lit it every night whenever I began to relax. And taking a shower, it's interesting. I have a stand-up shower in my bathroom. And there's like a glass door. I can smell the scent like lightly in the bathroom. But when you open the shower door, it's like all the scent from the candles goes up and into that shower. It's crazy. So whenever I take a shower, it's always where I get like the most concentrated scent of the candle I'm burning in there. It's a very small space, but that's where all the scent travels to. And I'm, I love this. So super happy. Always love fresh cut lilacs, especially during this time of year. We'll continue with Bath & Body Works candles, vanilla and musk. Ugh, you guys. I could not smell this at all. And it really was sad. Whipped vanilla, soft cedar wood and suede musk. I love the scent. It's marshmallow musk, which came out a couple years ago. This last wick was burning a little longer than the others. Very, very hot burn. These are those white core wicks that have like the black core center. I trimmed it before the first burn, let it burn for around four hours, trimmed it again all the way down, and the flames were vicious, high, huge mushroom tops, but I could barely smell this. I did burn this entirely in my bedroom every night for a couple days, and then it was finished. But yeah, I would not repurchase it. I just could not smell it, but the burn was very hot and vicious. I finished Honeysuckle and Freesia from a couple years ago. Garden Honeysuckle, Sugared Citrus Zest, and Freesia Petals. This one had that very classic, dirty burn from a Bath & Body Works candle. These are those thick rope-like wicks. I liked the scent. It's just like a sweet, sweet honeysuckle. A little bit of a green floral. I enjoyed it. I did it in my kitchen, but then like towards the halfway mark, it just got murky and gross. Pink Petal Tea Cake. This one does not perform for me whatsoever. Very high flames up until the halfway point, and then it was just abysmal all the way down. Burned down to the wick clips. This is Pink Rose Petals Pound Cake and Vanilla Glaze. I don't know. It's just nothing special to me. I wish I liked it more than I do. I just don't love it. 
Sugared lemon zest. Label's a little bit bubbled there. This is tangy Sorrento lemons, bright lemon zest, and fresh sugar cane. <sighs> okay, now this guy, I just moved it because I thought it was finished and it swirled around, but it did burn all the way down to the bottom. Low flames after the first burn. First burn, great. High flames, strong throw. Second burn, third, all the way down, super low flames, and I could barely smell it in my kitchen. I like having a lemon scent in the kitchen, but it just did not perform. This was terrible. Crisp green apple. This is from years ago. I don't even remember how I acquired this. Maybe at an SAS sale. Juicy citrus, fresh pineapple, and sugar crystals. I don't like the scent for one. It's like a very plasticky apple scent. Not a fan. And the burn was really terrible. So finish that. For Yankee, I only finished one. I fin finished Tangerine Vanilla. This, the burn was great, but it was not really strong. You see, it got really, really sooty towards probably where that second line under Yankee Candle hits. It just became really slow, and that's where it became really sooty. But really high flames from then on, but there was no scent throw whatsoever. I burned this while I melted some citrus, too, to see if it could, like, amp it up. And I really couldn't capture anything from it, so I would not repurchase that one. Now I finished one of the country candles in the 100% soy, coconut and blueberry tart. And this style, style jar always soots for me towards the end. So that's definitely where it was. And I left this burning a lot longer than I should have the last burn, but it, they self-extinguished themselves, these flames. The scent, so good. It reminds me, it's not exact. It reminds me of Scentsy Sweet Plum Pastry. Not a dupe, not the same, but it has some of the same like idiosyncrasies that Sweet Plum Pastry has. The Sweet Plum, a little bit of that like uh, doughy pastry type of scent, but it's not exact. The throw was great. I burned this in my living room and it was lighter. I moved it into my office. It was nice and strong. Bedroom, nice and strong. Kitchen, fairly nice. Not super strong because it's more open, but in a smaller like bedroom or um, office style space, Great consistent throw from top to bottom. This is the only country candle that I have burned so far. I did begin the cookies and cream cake, and I'll be honest, that is so strong, and it's not like my favorite. The fudge note's a little cloying and artificial for me, but I, it's, it's very strong, so I don't know. I'm gonna burn it, but I have to really be in the mood for it, and that might be a open the windows and like let the air circulate while I burn it so it's not nearly as strong. Now this guy, Mon Amour. Now I know this has been controversial for how strong it is. It was very medium in my bedroom, but I don't think this is a scent necessarily that I would want to be that strong, you guys. Like I love the scent and I will tell you in Vegas, everywhere I walked, I got hints of Baccarat Rouge 540. Like everywhere I went, somebody was either wearing that or I know Ariana Grande, Ariana, Ariana Grande Cloud smells just like it. And there's other dupes for it there. But whatever, that scent was all over Las Vegas. And I love this scent. It's beautiful. I need a little bit of a break from it because I obviously burned this whole thing. And that's all I smelled on vacation. But in the bedroom, this was the most beautiful background scent I've ever had. And it just lasted so long. When I extinguished this before I went to bed, in the morning, I still got whiffs of it. Like somebody sprayed the perfume on the bed and it was just like lightly in the air. It was beautiful. I'm excited to see what the three wick does, but in my bedroom, this was a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I actually melted a Scentsy bar that goes along with it, which I will get into. But before I do that, let's talk about some vendor wax. Before I talk about the vendor wax, which is very small that I finished up, I did want to let you know I switched up a couple of things. So I typically melt the same fragrance in my living room, dining room, and kitchen because it's a big open, like I'm in my living room now, my dining room is here, and then my kitchen is that way, all with like open walls, and typically no doors. And I typically do the same scent or very complimentary scents. 
or anything that like I might want to just use up or like a very fresh scent in the kitchen and then something fruity in the living room. It just depends. It really depends, but typically the same scent and then I'll do a different scent in my bedroom, a different scent in my office. I still have a good bit of vendor wax that I'm trying to get rid of. And I know vendor wax works better in hot plate or hotter warmers than Scentsy warmers. So I actually took all my Scentsy warmers that I had in my office out. I either boxed them up or switched up my display. Like I have the lavender warmer there. I have the succulent warmer there, the desert warmer from the summer collection here, summer rain. I have a few, that's the Be Kind warmer that I love. So just changing it up a little bit and I'm only going to melt vendor wax in my office for the near future. I'll probably get sick of it soon, but I'm only doing vendor wax in my office so that way I can give it the fair chance that it deserves so I can truly smell it. Like I'm doing an L3 set in there right now and it's doing really well because it's a very small space that I keep the door closed to. So when I'm doing homework or editing videos or just spending some time in there doing like other things, uh, I can really sit and enjoy the fragrance while I'm in there doing some work on my computer. And what's nice about that is I can just think, okay, if I have vendor wax, I can use it up. And then even if it's like a small sample or like a scent shot or two, I can do it in one or two warmers and not use all of them. I do have six hot plates in there right now. I have one on my desk, two on this like shelf that I have that organizes some baskets. And then I have my big wax display which I used to film in front of whenever I first moved in here. And I have four warmers on there. So technically I have seven, but six that are like functioning all the time. Anyway, that's how I plan on using up a lot of my vendor wax for now. But these were not. These were either in my bedroom or out here in Scentsy Warmers. So I did not get the best throw, but I'm trying and experimenting. I'm not going to be buying vendor wax in the future, but I do want to give what I have left a fair chance. The first one I did was Sabrina Spellman from Vintage Chic Scents, Palo Santo, Vanilla Lace, and Cashmere Fig. I could not smell this. Southbound Wildberry Tulips, Tangerine Wild Red Berries, Fresh Picked Tulips, Water Lily, and Honeysuckle with notes of musk. This is the first scent that I actually did in the office, and this was pleasant for a few hours. It was nice. It, it definitely led to like a body care Bath and Body Works scent. I did Honeyed Pineapple from K's. I did Raspberry Jam Bakery Bomb. I had two chunks from L3. That was terrible. I just didn't like the scent. I did Lilacs in a Vase from Sassy Girl Aroma. I love this scent. It's a very green, powdery, floral lilac. I'm actually burning fresh cut lilacs or What's it called? Lilac Blossoms from Yankee Candle in a large jar. So not that you can really smell that. Large jars are pretty much only ambiance candles from Yankee. So I used this whenever I lit that for the first day of spring and it was like gone super fast. I did from Dessa's Circus Under the Stars, Macintosh Apple. This was one of her builder bars. This was nice. Didn't get a super strong scent from it. This is what I'm melting in my in my office now in the hot plates and it's really nice. Snow Fairy, cream soda, and pink sugar. This was nice. It just really smells like Snow Fairy from Lush. And then strawberry jam zucchini bread in a loaf. I actually did this entire loaf in my entire apartment. Living room, dining room, kitchen, bedroom, office, bathroom, and laundry room just to use this loaf up because it's over a year old. And I got minimal scent for like five hours. So nothing crazy at all. I believe I have a few scent shots, nothing crazy. I finished peanut butter and strawberry jam from Candles by Victoria. Mm. Peanut butter and strawberry jam from Candles by Victoria. This was nice. It's a very sweet, almost like salty strawberry jam mixed with creamy peanut butter. I liked that. Juliet is the Sun from Vintage Chic Scents. This is mango orange tangerine sherbet with whipped cream. This was like a nice citrus scent. I did this one in the kitchen in a hot plate. I did from Glitterati, Mango Temptation and Fresh Raspberry. I don't know. Glitterati seems very overrated to me. This smells like an herbal essences shampoo. 
And I just don't see the like waiting forever to get put on a list for scents that, you, that it just doesn't seem like worth it to me. And it was just a very basic scent. So nothing super, super fun there. Oh, there's one more. Oh, Dancing in the Rain from Candles by Victoria. I actually really like this. This was like a sweet, floral, watery, like almost like a fresh, clean body wash. Not like a masculine water body wash. Like a very clean, sweet rain scent. So I really liked that. Enjoyed that one. As far as non-wax empties, I finished Washer Whiffs in Fiji Flower. Okay, guys. I love me some Scentsy. One, I think the Bring Back My Washer Whiffs thing was absolutely ridiculous. Like, we want Bring Back My Warmer. And I get that that's really hard to do with manufacturing and things like that because obviously you need molds and you need people to make those things. But how many people honestly sat down and was like an idea share, which if you don't know what idea share is, it's essentially where consultants and customers, customers can tell consultants and we can put what we would like to see in the future. Who honestly wanted to vote for Washer With Sense to come back? I don't know, I just think it's hilarious. I, uh, I didn't vote, I don't care. And personally, I think the laundry is a waste of money. I love my Scentsy, don't get me wrong. I think the laundry is a waste of money. There has never been one scent from laundry that I can truly smell. And I've done laundry liquids, scent soft, washer whiffs, dryer discs, nothing. I never smell it on my laundry afterwards, ever. So, I don't know. Everybody raved about this scent Fiji flower. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's nice. But I mean, I, I put so much of this in my bedding when I did my bedding one night. I couldn't smell it and I sleep on the sheets. My nose is on the bed and I couldn't smell it. So I don't understand the hype for laundry. Maybe it's my washer and dryer, I don't know. I finished my last Bath & Body Works hand soap, Radiant Sky. So happy to not have any more foam soap in my life. This dries the F out of my hands. Oh my God. I like the scents. They dry my hands out so much. So I've been using the Diptyque hand wash in my kitchen and the Aesop hand wash in my bathroom. So nice. This is an okay scent. Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. It's like a very sweet lychee. The lychee is very juicy and fresh. I actually have a Diptyque lychee candle here, which is beautiful. I love that scent. Anyway, let's talk about my Scentsy. I got through the Scentsy, guys. I got through the Scentsy. The first brick I finished was Squeeze the Day. I did this two different times, so I cut each brick cube typically in half. Certain warmers, like, if you guys have this warmer from the summer collection, the desert, is it called desert? I don't remember what it was called, the one that with cactuses. That dish is so huge. I could put an entire cube, even like these big ones down here, and it only fills it up like halfway. Like that dish is massive. So I typically do half a cube in each warmer. I love squeeze the day. It's fruity, it's fresh, it's zesty with a little bit of creamy vanilla. I love Squeeze the Day. I will say, I was using this up because it was getting like kind of brown and gross. It did not last long. I just find that the brick scents do not last super, super long. I did order, I waited until that Enliven Your Senses bundle was available, which I totally missed. But I did order my Spring Bricks, the Mother's Day Collection, and the Epcot Bars. So those should be here, and we can do some first sniffs together when those arrive. I also finished Sunkissed Citrus, which this was a very old brick. And I love Sunkissed Citrus. It's sweet, like freshly squeezed orange juice with almost a hint of like a body care, like a musk or a floral that enhances the orange. It's so pretty. I love Sunkissed Citrus. It is one of my favorites. I love having that in a brick. And I finished the Winter's Eve brick. It was very cold one night. I did this entire brick throughout my entire apartment. I mean, I, every nook, every little uh, wall plug, everywhere that had a warmer, this was going. And I will tell you, it was like five out of 10. Barely, barely scented. I was expecting, cause I put this in, went to the gym. It was like a Saturday night. I didn't have any plans. Came back, barely anything. Like, it was so light. And I was expecting to be blown away by this with how strong it was in the clam. But yeah, it was not very strong. 
So I was kind of disappointed because I was really craving like a very rich masculine scent, but I did not get that from this, unfortunately. So that was Winter's Eve. All right, are you ready? Let's try to go through these and I hope they're in the right order of what I use. Them. Okay, perfect. What I have going right now in all of the warmers are three bars of green tea smoothie. So I've been three bars in all of the spaces. This kind of, now it's not the same scent by any means. It reminds me of how I feel about winterberry apple tea. Like, it just doesn't do anything for me. Like, it's it's nice. Like, if you watch, the, watch this English YouTuber, James Welsh, obsessed with him, he's a beauty YouTuber, skincare mainly. He does like this rate my, like skincare brands. And he has a category called S apostrophe nice. Like, it's nice, it's nice. That's what I would rate this. It's nice. Like. It smells fresh, it smells a little clean, but it's nothing that I would ever seek out. It is not my club. It's not super strong. We'll see how long it lasts. Today is day two of this going in my living room, dining room, kitchen, but it's not very strong. And it's just not anything that I would ever be like, yes, I need more. I will say it's nice. I have this going right now in my bedroom, cucumber lime. This is very nice. I love this. This is bright, crisp, juicy lime with this watery skin on cucumber. It's so pretty. I did not add this to my club, but I really like it. I love it in the bedroom. It's just energizing and bright and zesty. It's really good. I did Clementine Cupcake also in my bedroom. Look at how oily this is. Now for a bar that was this oily and like strong, it was not that strong in my bedroom. I love the way it smells on cold. It's like yellow, delicious bakery cake with a sweet fruit, like a clementine. But I prefer cutie pie cupcake to this for strength and throw. It was not very strong. So I wished it was stronger for what it was. I did a bar of pineapple rose. I love this bar, you guys. I love this bar. It's, there's like a sharpness from the pineapple that's like a zing that you immediately get when you smell it. And then the powdery rose comes in and is like, hey, like I'm in the scent too, pineapple. Like take a little bit backseat because rose is here to shine. And it does the same thing in the warmer. I love this. This is going in my club. I want this all the time. I love pineapple rose. Um, when I did Clementine Cupcake in my bedroom, I did Clementine Blossom in my office and this was another want want. I mean, I could barely smell it in the in the clam. It's like the lightest scent ever. It's like the clementine fell off the tree and the leaf was blowing in the wind for a year and you picked it up and was like, did this used to be clementine? Like a long, 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 long time ago, almost. Yeah, no. I did, ooh, mango shortcake in my bedroom. It's staying in my club because I wanna get another bar of it and see, it was nice. Didn't last long though, but I liked the way that it smelled. And you can truly tell that this is a shortcake versus like a, like a cupcake. Like there is that extra buttery, crusty note in here with the juicy mango. This is really good. I was very impressed by mango shortcake. So I'm hoping that if I get another bar and I let it sit for a while and try it again, I will like it even more. I know I have three bars of this summer. Yep. I am so excited this is coming back in June for Bring Back My Bar that I finished my last three bars of Happy Birthday. I did this. I was not home for my birthday, but I did it when I came back. Is there nothing better and then going on a trip, before you leave, deep clean all your warmer dishes. I stuck them in the drying rack the night before I left, let them dry, and I put them all in my warmers and they were all fresh. And then I got home late that night, went to bed, and in the morning I changed all the bars to bring back my bar, happy birthday, and it was just such a good day. There's nothing like fresh bars, and especially when your bar is happy birthday, it's even better. 
This is like Funfetti cake frosting. It is so yummy, so fruity, delicious. I did a classic staple blueberry cheesecake. People either love this or hate it. I love it. If this ever got discontinued, it would totally go in my club. It's super, super creamy, fruity blueberry cheesecake. Love it. Always a staple. I believe this is like one of the first bars I ever tried from Scentsy. And it keeps coming back because it is fabulous. Mango Wildflower. I did this one the other day in my bedroom. And this is also a, it's nice. It's fruity. It's floral. It's a very like generic fruity floral body care scent. I like it. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was pleasant in my bedroom. Oh, mango margarita. I really liked this, you guys. This was yummy. This is bright. This is salty. This is a little bit mango. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my gosh, do I love this. This is sweet, salty. I wouldn't say, I actually wanna maybe get a bar of cocoa lime. This is in my club right now. And like do a cube and cube to like enhance the margarita. Possibly, we'll see. I really liked it. I did, I think I did three bars of this too, right? Um, no, I only did two bars, okay. Strawberry lemon cake. This was not strong at all. I like it. It's like a very, it's like a, a light strawberry lemon frosted white cake. Like, with just like juice or like zest. It's not like the frosting was made with like, you you can't really zest the strawberry, but like very light strawberry essence and lemon zest, very light cake with like essences of the fragrance, kind of like a LaCroix, how it's like this essences of the fruit flavor was not strong. So makes me sad because I do love me some bakery. Now, these two I did when I went to Vegas. Actually, technically I did these three when I went to Vegas. Mango matcha. I fell in love with this. Oh, this is so good. This is like that Caribbean salsa candle I love from Slack Cannon Company days years ago. Bright, juicy mango. So good. With some greens, fresh. I did that in my hotel room and it smelled fabulous. Same with Soak and Rays. Look how bright that bar is. This is like orange blossom. I know a lot of people say like suntan lotion. I can see that. To me, it's more like orange blossom, neroli blossom, powdery type of vibe. But it's really pretty. Really strong and very bright. Really enjoyed that. I did Mountain Sunset. I did this in the bathrooms because I brought a plug-in and a full-size warmer. And I did this in the bathrooms in the hotel room. And this was so pretty. It was sweet. It was fresh. Oh, it was so good. Mmm. I love it. The person I was going with was in the room and housekeeping came in. And they were like, housekeeping came in when you were at the pool. And they were like, it smells so good in this room. See? I know. Mountain sunset. It was delicious. Creamy, fresh, awesome. <gasps> okay. So I guess we'll talk about both of these at the same time. Starburst Sky from Scentsy. This is what I had melting in my room when I had Mon Amour going. It smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540. A little bit of like a caramel, praline, perfume, orchid, apple vibe. Ah, oh, Starburst Sky immediately went to my club and it lasted for days in my bedroom. But then I brought the Mon Amour Daylight to the hotel when I was taking a bath. And this was actually really strong too. Even in daylight form, I burned this in the bathtub, or not in the bathtub, but by the bathtub, sitting on the shelf. And oh, it was so good. It was so good. And I love the ambiance of a candle. That's what I think these daylights are perfect for, either like a bathroom or like on a trip as a travel candle. So really was happy with that. And with that being said, we're at 30 minutes, just like an episode of your favorite TV show, right? And who doesn't like to watch an empties video? I know those are my favorites. My bin is empty. My candles are going to be recycled as well as all this wax next to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. All the important stuff will be down below, but make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye guys.